Eyegaze is fundamental to human communication because it serves multiple functions. It is really important for conveying emotion, so if you're surprised or if you're suspicious. Uh, also, it regulates turns during conversation, so if you uh, um, usually what happens is that when you're having a face-to-face -face conversation, you, when you're thinking about something, you look away, and then but when you, you look back, and when you look back to someone when you stop, that's a signal to let them have their turn. So I'll be talking, talking, and I'll let look back and stop and then it's your turn to start. And at ECU, we're one of the first universities to be uh, conducting research you know, into eye, eye gaze and eye tracking in face-to-face -face conversation. Um, so it's a really exciting area of research and a growth area. In our research, we're able to map out the complexities of eye movements during face-to-face -face conversation. And then once we've uh, been able to understand this further, we're hoping to follow on to understand uh, how uh, these different eye movements have consequences for people's attention and their, their learning and, and broader social functioning. Using the eye tracking glasses, we've been able to discover that people present with their own unique eye gaze pattern during face-to-face -face conversation, kind of much like how different people have their own fingerprint. And so how we're able to map this out is that uh, people have, there's big differences in the speed of movements and fixations on different areas. So for example, some people might uh, look up and down as a lot as their sort of main pattern, whereas others will be side to side, others in a more triangle pattern, and, and, and many more. So what does this all mean? Well, it's the first step towards uh, being able to understand some really key behavioural acts during conversation, like if someone's trying to be deceptive, trying to tell you a lie, for example, or if someone's feeling uncomfortable, and we can we can see that with their eye movements, and with this research we can really map it all out. And so, by being able to map all this out, we can have a look at different contexts, such as in a, in a business setting, like in an interview and stuff like that, or in a... Uh, education context when someone's trying to learn new material um, but also just in general everyday social conversation which is something you know we all do every day and it's something that we all want to be better at I think and so with, with this research um, part of what I'm aiming to do is is you know uncover uh, all this stuff so that I can start to give some uh, recommendations that are backed by some solid empirical evidence.